after I'd got my master cylinder done, I was originally going to build my uh, front spindles and disc brakes and caliper mounts, but then I got to thinking maybe I better concentrate on getting my pickup bed built this year and uh, get that done because there was quite a bit of work on that that was going to have to be done. So I made a uh, drawing of how I wanted the, the reveals on the sides to be, and there's a place called Laf Last Refuge Hot Rods that I had them bend me up some sides and uh, and uh, front and back and they were able to make it an inch and a half wider which was great so it would fit my fenders better. Then it uh, came down to uh, putting all the pieces together and I can't stress that you cannot have enough clamps and everything. I ended up buying more and buying more and taking the ones I had from work home and and everything has to be square because if it's not square your whole project's screwed and uh, so I I got her all together and squared and tailgate fit perfect and I'm ready to cut my uh, wheels there I had to until I got my wheels wells cut for my tires I had to have it way up in the air but then it was time for my inner fender well and I just went back to a trailer fender which is just about the best thing you can use I think and here again you gotta have everything square the bottom has to be flat and uh, the sides have to be flat and when you start welding this in wherever it is is where it's gonna be forever so I had to buy a whole bunch of extra steel to get my sides and there's my Clecos holding them in but then I cut my inner fender well to fit the the uh, bed and uh, then I'm going to start tacking it in here in a little bit and I just sprayed on some weld anti-splatter because you get those BBs everywhere and it makes a heck of a mess if you don't and, and there's one side tacked in and then I'm making my flat panel that goes on the back of the fenders and that worked out pretty good. The fenders are thick enough that you don't have to worry about them warping but you got to be real careful about welding these because uh, I just go like maybe half an inch at a time and then move somewhere else and you don't want it to get warm and uh, so then I uh, concentrated on uh, my uh, transmission cooler and you can buy these uh, coolers and fan combinations but they always seem to make them out of their smaller units and the way I figure it is if I uh, need more cooling and I have a small unit I can't get more cooling so I always uh, like to start out with the biggest unit I can get and then you know if it if it cools too much I can always turn it off so uh, that's what I built here was a I used a 28,000 GVW cooler and mounted a fan on that so after that while Sadie's getting cooled off here I concentrated on my uh, air tanks and stuff and gas tanks and uh, one of my tanks is different color than the other because I bought it a couple of years ago and then I bought the other one and it was black so I've got two different tanks but they're going to be hidden and I'll probably end up painting them anyway so it doesn't matter but they uh, fit underneath my tank and then I'll make me a scatter shield to fit in between my air tanks and my gas tank out of a leftover aluminum diamond plate that I had so just in case my uh, air tanks were to blow up but hopefully it wouldn't take out my gas tank too um, and then I'm getting my uh, aluminum straps to hold my gas tank built there <coughs> there and I didn't really show building any mounts for my air compressor and my transmission cooler but it was pretty straightforward you know, I just mounted it in here and to uh, separate this I'm gonna have to uh, have a, a panel that is vented because I want the gas tank and I'll have to get air into my cooler and I want my gas tank to be vented and everything so I'll be doing that next. So I drew up in TurboCAD a drawing where I want my louvers to be and uh, I had a local sheet metal shop uh, punch me a panel out with the louvers where I need them to be and uh, then first I had to make a little hinge for my uh, lower uh, bed floor and this little two little videos will kind of show what I'm doing there. For my hinge 
I haven't welded them on yet. Um, they're, as you, they look a lot bigger, <laughs> but it's going to be uh, four pieces, and that'll uh, should lift it up the way I, I'm kind of hoping it will. My hinge for the lower floor. floor will just bolt to it just regular wood pick a fed floor and then it'll hinge up to so I can get to my battery and and my air suspension stuff back here and the louver will weld to the top of the angle iron there there's the hinge mechanisms there I had to uh, trim that panel and uh, be real careful about getting it in there without damaging it because I didn't want to do it over. Well, an old piece of plywood I had, I'm just using, but this is going to be my uh, trunk will, or this will be a trunk. It's the floor of my pickup bed, but it'll, uh, I'll put, it'll have the polished strips and stuff when I'm done, but this is just a piece of plywood I had laying around. But uh, I've got the hinge up there that I built, and uh, it'll hinge up to access my battery and my air uh, ride stuff there. And then uh, my gas tank and all that stuff is going to be accessed here. And I think I'm going to put a a uh, pad on there, like a so it looks like a seat. Well, it, I, I could use it as a heat seat. I made it thick enough so that it could be, it won't bow or nothing if you set on it. And then, uh, now I'm getting ready to mount the tailgate. And I've got to think, uh, I got to thinking about the tailgate and I don't really want to fold it down because I don't want anyone ever sitting on it because it's going to, it's just a thick piece of steel and it'll just bend if someone tries to sit on that. So I think I'm going to make the tailgate latch but then it'll just come off instead of opening up folding down it'll just come completely off i was looking at my that piece of plywood i have on there and i may just find, get me a larger piece of plywood and cut it to fit my floor and then route out uh, the uh, slots for the uh, chrome or polished uh, steel strips and i think that that'd be a lot cheaper than buying a set of wood for your floor because that's I've seen that it's like 500 bucks or more and I ain't spending that much money for that I've been drilling I made this fixture I can drill three three holes right next to each other and then I've got an air file that I uh, or not an air file but an air uh, jigsaw I cut cut it out round and then I've just been filing it square with the with the file here this is what us old timers call elbow grease and maybe a little blood sweat and tears too Squares turned out to be pretty good. Uh, they uh, took a little time to do, and I made my little tabs out of uh, stainless steel because I'll probably won't paint them, and I don't want them to rust. So I welded all those things in, and and getting them lined up and everything wasn't really as hard as I thought it would be, but uh, it works out great, and I think I ought to be happy with this. Okay, these uh, tailgate latches were some kind of an old Ford uh, tailgate latch that I found, uh, and they just open up like this, and then the uh, bed comes out, you see my three tabs down there maybe, and uh, to put it back in, you just uh, slide them in the slots, and then latch the tailgate latches, and 
that's all it done. This way I don't have to worry if I flip it down, flip it down, someone sure as heck is going to come up and sit on this tailgate and uh, it wouldn't take one time to screw it up. So that's how I took care of that. There was a big hole in the side of my bed that uh, I needed to figure out how to uh, pretty it up so I made a panel on my mill and I milled a uh, indent into the panel that kind of kind of matches the reveal on my bed sides and uh, then I took a piece of another piece of a trailer fender and put it in there to uh, fill in the rest of the hole there and bolted the panel up to it and uh, I'll it'll be all painted of course when it's done but uh, that uh, pretty much uh, finished up my summer on this what I was doing this summer see you next year